Frederick Martel, Global Gay, How Gay Culture is Changing the World, The MIT Press. Dive into the captivating journey of how the LGBT community has transformed the world and shaped societies. In Global Gay, How Gay Culture is Changing the World, Frederick Martel explores the impact of the gay liberation movement, the growing globalization of LGBT rights, and the influence of commerce and activism in gay communities. Discover the varying ways nations recognize LGBT people and their rights as well as the internal divisions within continents and civilizations. Through engaging storytelling, you will learn about the complexities of Asian and former British colonies' attitudes toward homosexuality, the different models of gay neighborhoods, and the international battle for the decriminalization of homosexuality. The Global LGBT Movement In 1969, a police raid at the Stonewall Inn in New York City sparked a riot that marked a turning point for the gay rights movement. Today, the movement has gone global with the help of digital transformation. The societies in which gays live influence their progress, but trade and tourism unlock gay rights by enticing creative individuals, entrepreneurs, and tourists to become part of a community. Gay TV and movies are making inroads worldwide, and social networks provide safe environments for LGBT people to meet and discuss shared topics and news. However, nations vary drastically in the recognition and rights granted to the LGBT community. Nevertheless, the push for universal gay rights is now a multipolar effort that is becoming less and less Western. Ultimately, as activist Mary Bonato puts it, there is no such thing as gay marriage, just marriage, with the same love and commitment. Geopolitics of Gay Rights Asia and African countries faced challenges with homosexuality due to both Western colonialism influences and religious beliefs. Many Muslim countries criminalize homosexuality and even impose the death penalty. In India, the caste system, arranged marriages, and the risk of being disinherited further negatively affect the LGBTQ community. However, individuals find creative ways to adapt, including integrating partners in family lives and forming underground networks. Some French colonies and Central African countries exhibit more liberal attitudes, while former British colonies continue to criminalize homosexuality through penal codes such as Section 377. The Six Models of Gay Neighborhoods Gayborhoods, known for their thriving culture and commerce, fall into six distinctive models, with unique variations existing worldwide. These models are clusters, villages, strips, colonies, alternative, and sprawl. The absence of anti-gay laws does not necessarily translate into greater tolerance, and sometimes, it is challenging to mobilize as it looks like everything is just fine. Despite this, gay pride is celebrated worldwide annually, and these events signified significant milestones in the LGBTQ plus community worldwide. However, violence has marred some pride events, such as the Pulse nightclub shooting, where 49 people were killed, and 53 others were injured, signifying hatred toward the Latino and homosexual communities. The Fight for Marriage Equality This summary traces the path taken towards legalizing same-sex marriages globally. It tells the story of Mary Bonato, a tactful attorney who fought for the recognition of same-sex couples, starting with workplace discrimination and gay couples' rights in adoption. Bonato recognized that tackling marriage would be the best way to legitimize same-sex couples and started in Massachusetts in 2001. Although the court initially dismissed the case, Bonato appealed, and in 2003, the state Supreme Court decided in favor of her clients. By 2015, 36 states in the U.S. allowed same-sex marriages, and on June 26, 2015, the U.S. Supreme Court made history by legalizing same-sex marriage nationwide. The fight for marriage equality continued globally, with countries like France, Portugal, and Spain legalizing same-sex marriage after the Netherlands. Although progress has been substantial since 2001, same-sex marriage legalization remains ongoing in other countries like Hong Kong and Africa. The summary ends by noting that Israel currently does not allow homosexual couples to marry, as it has no civil marriage for anyone. 
Decriminalizing Homosexuality, Progress and Challenges The struggle to decriminalize homosexuality continues despite significant progress made by LGBT rights in recent decades. The cases of Mahmoud Askari, Ayaz Maroni, and Makwan Malaudzadeh's hangings in Iran serve as painful reminders of this fact. Various UN initiatives, resolutions, and declarations have attempted to address discrimination, exclusion, harassment, prejudice, and stigmatization against homosexuals globally. Brazil pioneered the first declaration with 20 signatory nations in 2003, and it gained as many as 54 signatories over the next four years. However, these efforts have been met with strong resistance from opposing nations. While in 2008, Argentina presented the Declaration on Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity at the UN General Assembly, Syria circulated a violent, anti-gay counter-declaration, representing 59 countries. While 66 countries supported the initiative, 68 UN member states, including the United States, abstained from either effort. In 2014, the UN Human Rights Council passed a resolution denouncing violence targeting LGBT individuals, while the creation of a position for a UN Observer for LGBT People in 2016 marks the beginning of the battle. The struggle to decriminalize homosexuality globally remains far from over. Frederick Martel's The Global Gay offers invaluable insights into the growing impact of the LGBT community on the world. From Stonewall to the globalization of LGBT rights and social networks, this book reveals the power of gay history and progress. Appreciate both the strides achieved in nations like the United States and the challenges faced in Asia, former British colonies, and Muslim countries that still criminalize homosexuality or suppress equal rights. By understanding the power of commerce and activism, unique models of gay neighborhoods, and the complexities of varying legal and cultural influences, we can gain a better understanding of the importance of continued advocacy and decriminalization efforts for LGBT people worldwide.